Flight Boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the Mind of an Antares Moon. Flight Boss, the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to do the Flight Astrological Revamp 2018 for all my Leos out there. So this is going to be Leos in a flight shell. In a nutshell. This is basically the Neo, Ar uh, the Leo, uh, the Neo, Neo, Leo archetype right here. Shields for all my females out there, <laughs> but you know this is y'all archetype. So this is what makes up Leo in a in a in a full totality as an archetype and the elements that they consist of and why they act the way they act. So let's break it down. Leo and a star constellation influences is created by the fifth house. Now, what is the fifth house? The fifth house represents the way you express yourself. And it's also how you creatively express yourself, your creative mechanism. It's how you have fun and enjoy yourself. And it's also uh, the house of entertainment, three forms of entertainment. How you, the things you choose to entertain, whether that's a person, place, or thing, conversation, whatever. How you entertain and the things that you're entertained by. All those things that consist of and the way you express yourself. All these things consist consist of the Leo archetype. These back and support the Leo archetype. So Leos in general are concerned with expressing themselves in some type of way. Entertainment in some type of way. Like as I just explained it. Fun and enjoyment in some type of way. And something dealing with creativity. See what I'm saying? Now, what's next? Leo is ruled by the sun. Now, what is the sun? The sun is your actions, the way you act and how you see things, things you're consciously aware of and what other people are consciously aware of from you based upon what you have shown them, based upon your actions or your viewpoints. Now, for the most part, the sun is home here. Now, when I say a planet rules a sign, that means it's home there. So it gets to relax, it gets to be lazy or get up and do whatever it pleases at, at its own choice. So the sun here, so... This is the archetype that Leos may play out also. The Leos have natural energy and it, it feel home and it's comfortable. It, they feel comfortable and it, it feel at home for them to act or to have a certain act or to create a certain act or have an ego or to take a shape and form that they think others want from them in some type of way. So it's like a fireplace type of fire right here, a fixated fire right here, a fire that wants to be seen, that wants to be in center stage. And when I say center stage, that doesn't necessarily mean a stage. That that's could just mean the center of attention or the point of reference for a circumstance or situation. For, for an example, you may be the breadwinner of the house. You may be the center of attention of a conversation. You may be the cause of an event. You may be what everybody is talking about. You see what I'm saying? Or you just may be the center of attention of your own world. So you want to steal off into your own self because you love and appreciate and praise yourself in certain type of ways. So that can lead into an ego also, but it just goes into a lot of different dynamics. But for the most part, this is the sun, how the sun is. In Leo, so Leos feel the ability to act, to share their viewpoints, what they're consciously aware of, how they see things, and to be able to take shape and form of all the many things that we see. So when you see the sun rise, you see, you think that is making everything grow and things of that nature. But in so many ways, shapes, and form, the sun just wants to be light, and the sun is able to do that by taking many different different shapes and forms. And, and lights and illusions and, and, and coming into and coming in ways that a person will receive and a person and a person will like it. So Leos will it'll play out in a Leo as a, a Leo li want, likes to be liked and they will want and the way they do it is taking a shape and form of of a thing that they know a person will like or taking the shape and form of a place or or taking the shape and form of another person just to get what they know what uh, that would attract to that energy. You see what I'm saying? Because they want to be light, and light is dealing with attraction. So Leos know they had like the because fire burns through reality. So reality is the shape and form of something. So if you can see through it, which is fire burns it, see throughs it, right? It's able to see where that energetic force came from. So a Leo will be able to take that shape and form before somebody else because they can see the flow, the wave. You see what I'm saying? So this is what makes them look creative a lot of times. And if they don't use their creativity, their imagination will look like an illusion to others. But for the most part, they have to express it, whether it's the illusion or creativity anyway. So 
that's the sun right here. You, uh, this is what makes Leos able to consciously see what's going on, see the reality of something, and be able to take the shape and form of something in order to get the receiving of whatever that thing attracts. That whatever the Leo took the shape and form of, whatever that thing attracts, that's that's what Leo did it for. So if it attract praise, if it attract material, if it attract money, if it attract imagination, creativity, if it attract others, so be it. But that's. This is built into the archetype of Leo. Whether if it attract bad or good, attention, it doesn't matter. It's that attraction there. You see what I'm saying? And this will make some natural attractors. It has secret admirers and secret haters too. Now also, Saturn is away here. So Saturn is at work. I like to say a planet is at work is is at a place that it doesn't likes to be at. So it has to utilize the tools that it has in order to get the job done. So ultimately, you you're uh, it's like a planet having being in an area and having to do things that it doesn't necessarily wants to do or can't really get right with it. So why is Saturn? What is Saturn? Saturn is how one sees reality, which is the reality we are all in. But it's also where one places and receives boundaries and restrictions and limits. But it's also how one gains structure in their life. Whether that's based upon a person, place, or thing. You see what I'm saying? Or a job, or whatever like that. So that's a way in Leo. So Saturn, it's, it's a hard time. Saturn may have a hard time in Leo. So Leo, all Leos in general, Leo archetypes may sh may share this kind of energy. A lot of times they, they may refuse to see the reality of something. They may only choose to want to see the charm of something. Or the, for an example, they may be around a person that may be giving them praise and things of that nature. So that the praise that the Leo get may blind them from the illusion that this manipulative person may be doing. This person may be praising them for whatever that the Leo have at the moment. And the Leo may not be able to see that because they're too busy and being satisfied with the praising. You see what I'm saying? So right there uh, correlates with reality. So, you know, uh, Leos may not see reality because Saturn is hard for Saturn. Saturn is in, with Saturn, it's a way in Leo. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard. So, Leos in general, it's hard for them to kind of see the reality of something. Now, the way they get now, also the way they gain structure in their life, whether that's based upon a person, place, or thing, or a job, a Leo would think gaining structure in their life has to be based upon the way they express themselves, their creativity, the way they see things, the way they feel about things. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot of times, that's not correlated with reality. But that can dive into things like acting, music, and, 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 and art, and things, and dancing, and stuff like that. Where we know that's, those things are not correlated with reality. You know what I'm saying? This is why you can have unrealistic music. This is why you can have uh, movies based on a true story. You see what I'm saying? But it's, it's a creation. It's created. See what I'm saying? Now, um, so this what makes... Uh, and then... Uh, Saturn is also where one places and receives boundaries and restrictions and limits. It's going to have a hard time doing that. It's, it has a hard time doing that in the Leo archetype. So whether you have Saturn and Leo or you're a Leo in general, you're going to have this type of vibration about you. Um, you know, the you may not see limits and boundaries. So a lot of times you you may go through experiences in your life where every so on and so often you get reminded that there's a boundary restriction and a limit and it might have to play through a person place or thing or it might have to it's going to have to come through some way shape or form but you're going to get reminded that you have limits and restrictions so it may play out in ways that you may try to boss people around at times or think you can do too much and try to express too much and then those shapes and forms will come and spank you to make you realize that wait remind re you need to remember there's limits and I don't care if Saturn is away you still have you still live in a land and a law and an earth that's that's correlated with laws and limits and restrictions see what I'm saying but your spirit we will let your spirit be limitless all day see what I'm saying <laughs> now Saturn because Saturn don't reflect light off anyway so you know Saturn will let you do that so the the basic archetype of Leo is they're very spirited and optimistic people and they're into their own they they they're passionate about their own intuition their their own their own self they they believe in their self they believe in their spirit so even so much that it could be unrealistic 
this person could unbelievably believe in themselves to the point that this will make a Capricorn or Aquarius a, a, a sign that don't reflect light or somebody else feel like they have to tear down that ego a little bit you know what I'm saying and but can they do it is the thing do they got the power to shut that Leo down is the thing that's the thing see what I'm saying now um now, Uranus is away here also. So, what is Uranus? Uranus is uniqueness, originality, and opposition. But you can't have those without the other, which is uniqueness and originality. Because in order for something to be unique and original, it would have had to oppose, change, and rebel against something previously. See, get my drift? So, for the most part, this is what Uranus represents. Now, it's away here. It, it, now, it can't actually get with it. It's like at work here in Leo also. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Leos like to be liked. So the, the Leo archetype is going to play out as in a Leo like to be liked. So a lot of times it may refrain the Uranus energy in, in them. It may re They don't got no Uranus energy, so it refrain the fact of opposing, changing, or rebelling against something. You know what I'm saying? Leo like to make themselves apart. This is the fire that likes to catch everything else on fire around it. See, Aries will be the electric spark. Leo will be the fire. Sagittarius would be after it's all said and done, the heat that we feel from it, the scatteredness, the spread out of it. See what I'm saying? So Leo keeps the thing cooking and see it through. It's the spirit. So right here, when we talk about um when we talk about Uranus being away here, you know what I'm saying? Leo likes to likes this is the fire that likes to connect. See, this is what makes uh Leo different than Sag and Aries. This is the Leo that likes to connect. See, where Aries may be selfish. Leo's may be self-centered. Sagittarius may just be wise on both. You see what I'm saying? And, and may not even participate. But there's a thin line between being self-centered and being selfish. Selfish is Aries. So selfish could be all about themselves and single-minded and direct. But yet, it may, it may lack the care of anybody else's opinion about it. So Aries can be selfish but also not care if anybody else see them achieve anything also. As long as they can see it to themselves, that can lead into that. Now, here's the thin line. Self-centered is Leo. So self-centered now is a person that could be selfish, but they also want others to care about what's going on. They, they also want others to see. You know what I'm saying? They, they're self-centered. They, they, they also want others to see what they can do. See, Aries may be selfish, but they also may not care if other people see what they can do or not. Because they know to themselves. That's that first house in Mars and all that shit going on. See, Leo is different. It's the sun. The sun want to be seen by everybody. But it's also fire also. So it's self-centered. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to do certain things and be dramatic at certain times and have certain passions and create certain situations for others and create certain experiences in order to draw attention or to be seen. And take different shapes and forms in order to be praised in certain ways. It's gonna it's gonna just do that subconsciously sometimes. And it don't mean no harm. This is what keeps Leo child hearted. Have a child kind and and you don't and you don't take them that, that harshly and you be able to understand. And them to for them and they can be in uh, Leo could be ninety years old and still be a child in the heart. This would make Leos be able to live longer than a lot of humans. Because they never lose that charm. They never lose their inner child. And that's and that's and you need that in order for life. That is life. You can look on TV, you can look at people and tell who got life or not just on their face. You would never be able to look at a Leo and, and say a Leo don't have life. See what I'm saying? And if, and if you are looking at a Leo that's just dry in the face and they don't have life, believe me, that's their life. <laughs> you can't get away from it. They, like they can't get away from attention. Leos, y'all automatically get attention. So even if you're a person who don't like attention and you run from attention, that's what you're going to start getting attention for. You're going to start getting attention for not wanting attention or not wanting to be around or, or this person always by themselves or just closing themselves. You, start getting, you can't just be out of sight, out of mind or disappear like maybe a Scorpio or Pisces or Aries. You, you, you just can't do that. It's hard. It, you can't. It's sorry. So you got to work with your energetic forces. Now, um, back to Uranus being away. Now, it's like, it's away. So, 
you don't find the need to want to rebel and oppose and a change against someone else. You like to make yourself a part of it and then show your own fixated way. Even if you're proved wrong, you want to show your own way of seeing and feeling about it. You don't want to rebel. Even if even if you're proved wrong, you just want to voice your, your way of seeing and feeling about it. Right? But... And then when it comes to being unique and original, it's kind of hard to be it's kind of hard to be that because you're too busy trying to blend in or take the shape and form of what you think everybody else like. So this this can create a person who know how to creatively express themselves and you know how to be a unique and original individual that play out that that role, that ego, that character. But that character is truly not a rebellious opposing type character this is a character that like to be liked and like to receive and be a part of everything so even if a leo may initially act like they're opposing and coming in rebellious once they reach a certain level they truly will come to a conclusion that there's no need to be rebellious let's just come up with a fixated way of seeing and feeling and being a part of it you see what I'm saying? And having our own way of seeing and feeling about it. See what I'm saying? So that's what makes them unique and original. But that unique and originality takes a shape and form of just trying to creatively take a shape and form of something that's already there. Something that's already burning. Tree branches that's already there. You see what I'm saying? Something that's already in the oven. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all yeah, 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 very creative but tricky. Um, now, it's fire. So fire represents seeing and feeling, you know what I'm saying, the filler. So it sees and feel about the realm and the world that it's in, and it's fixed. So it's fixed fire. Fixed represents being fixated on its own way. And right here, this fixed sign is being element is being fixated on its own way of seeing and feeling about the world that it's in. So that just means that a lot of times you could be stubborn to the to uh, to the fact of how you're supposed to see and feel about things and you don't want nobody else coming in intervening with your way of seeing and feeling about circumstances and situations and experiences that you're going through but this could, this could create a foundation of no one can beat down on your spirit because how you feel and see about something was never changed so when it's time for that to work it's going to work and you're going to be able to tell somebody else i told you so see this is something that all the fixed signs got in common now um it's also uh, right brain. Now, it's right brain. What is the right brain? Right brain represents the internal realm, dealing with the emotions, the feelings, the imagination, the spirit, the soul, things we can't see. Now, fire represents the yang. What does yang represent? Yang represents the external realm. You see what I'm saying? Um, things that we can externally see. The yang realm. You know what I'm saying? What we can see in the light. So now we have a now the right brain have a has a yin everything has a yin and yang to it. You know what I'm saying? That's why you even have a right and left brain. That's a yin and yang to its in its own self. So the 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 uh the yin and yang to the right brain, the yang would be the fire, the yin would be the water. So when we got yang, that's expressive, that's being external into the external realm, and, and then we got that portion being in the right brain, which is at the inner internal realm, the imagination the imagination, pardon me. And, and the inner world or what we can't see. So when you look at a fire sign, put these two to two together. That's a person that has visions, imaginations, intuition, insight. You know what I'm saying? Enlightenment, right? But we can't see it, right? So what happens? That's what makes that's what lights the fire in a fire sign and makes them expressive. This is what makes Leos and fire signs in general like to express themselves and express. Because that's all expression is. Showing the inner world to the outer world, right? You just can't wait to show somebody what you can do. You just can't wait to see in the external world what you're visualizing, your imagination. And you just want to bring it into this world in some way, shape, or form. So you have to use shape, shapeless and formless tactics, tactics to do it, aka the right brain. You see what I'm saying? So this is visions and imaginations and intuition. And then your ability to express it in the yang realm. So you're taking the right brain things and expressing it into the yang realm. That's what fire signs do, and it's what make fire signs expressive. So they take their in intuition, their insight, how they view things, and express it. Make sure you can consciously see it in some way, shape, or form. And their talents and things of that nature. Now, also, um, and then last but not least, it is... Um, it's backed and it's backed and supported 
by the stars of Cancer. So the area, location, and the time and date that you was born in that make you a Leo, the stars of Cancer's constellation has moved in that area in space. So all the archetype has I just, have I just explained as to you being a Leo, right? Everything I just explained is as an archetype is being backed and supported by the lights and the illusions of the stars of cancer right so what does that mean right now the stars of cancer this is uh, cardinal water initiating and creating new ways of dealing with the emotions and feelings right so you could be in your mood or vibey and things of that nature um, and being your feelings at times but being in the subconscious realm also dealing with the moon being able to connect uh, deal with family emotions and react and reactiveness and being able to respond to the world that you are in and being able to obsess who you are to whatever energy that's going on all that is being back this all that is back in and supporting your Leo archetype as I just explained it so just look at it like this your Leoness your fixated way of seeing and feeling about the world that you're in is being back and supported so you're able to see and feel you're able to have your own fixated way of how to see and feel about initiating and creating new ways of dealing with the emotions and feelings and being able to connect to home, family, and being able to respond and react to things effectively. And that's Leo in an arc in, in a motherfucking nutshell. Flight boss, bitch. That's Leo archetype. Air. Hee <laughs> hee.